Hello, today we're going to take a quick look at one of the new Hikvision DS2CE56 hot ITMF camera with a 2.8 lens. The camera itself can be up to a 5 megapixel camera. It's got DNR, WDR, all the usual bits that you'd expect from a hit camera with IR and it's got a 20 meter range on the IR. It requires 12 volts DC, maximum 355, 365 milliamp current. So let's get this open. Break the seal. Inside we get a very basic user guide and user manual which you can put to one side and you can open the camera. Inside the box we've got one analog output, one 12 volt DC 3.5 mm jack and we've got a little button here so we can actually select which we're going to use. Now this typically comes as TVI as its first option and if you need to change the output type for here to work with the different CCTV systems or basic analog, you would open this button and press this button here with the camera powered up for about five seconds. You'll hear the camera click and it'll change to AHD. Give it a few seconds, press and hold it again, it'll change to CVI. Just give it a few seconds, press it again and hold it for another five seconds and it'll change to your standard analog CVBS. When you're done with that, it'll remember where it's up to. We can close that back again. And in the box we have, we get plugs and screws and a drilling template. Now these 2.8 lens will give you about 85 degree field of view and to take it apart just undo this screw here just slightly and turn the housing so it's upside down and there's a little gap there if you can see it and that needs to sit in there now at the other end you've got two little hooks there and your housing just needs to sit and then two little hooks with that slot and then turn it all the way back around again now <clears throat> We've got three fixing points. You can get back boxes for these. We can put this back together and turn the housing back around again. Now, <clears throat> on the camera itself, it does actually have up written on the top of the camera. So, Wherever you're going to be pointing it, up needs to be basically up and horizontal. And that will help guide you, get your camera image to where you want it to be anyway. And there's a handy little film here which you can take off, which just protects the front here. Uh, and that's pretty much it really for this one. When you've got it into the right position, just tighten up this screw and it just stops this from coming loose ever so slightly. And that's it. Thank you for watching.